Hey, welcome back to Good Day. 23 minutes after 8 o'clock this weekend, just 60 teams are left alive in a regional robotics competition uh, run by folks at the Perot Museum. Uh, Perot VP of Programs, uh, Teresa Lendling, joins us with the Golden Gears, an all-girl robotics team, and you are from Norman Junior High in the Kaufman ISD. Right, ladies? Yes. And you are dressed for success, no doubt about it. <laughs> Teresa, th this is a competition, this is all about STEM. STEM is uh, something, you know, science, technology, engineering, math, and even the arts, so important in schools these days. Absolutely, it's so important that we engage our youth in STEM so that they can go on to great careers in science, technology, engineering, and math, and also be innovators. And this is one of the programs that really inspires that generation to go on and become those great scientists. Okay, so what is the challenge this year? Because every year they, there's gotta be a new challenge. That's right, so this year we have hydrodynamics. And so it's all about water use. And so they're faced with real world challenges in which they have to solve. And one of the components is using robotics to go through this course and solve those problems. So, so the, the course is a table that is standard for every team, right? That's right, so okay. this does not change. And so they have different points that they can actually achieve throughout the course. So there's a water treatment plant in the center. Right. There's a whole water cycle that they have to solve. So they use their robots. Every team programs those robots differently. And this okay. team has programmed an amazing robot to solve a lot of those issues. Okay, so uh, Kay Kayla uh, Reed and Casey Horton, you are two veteran members of the team, second year on, on the team doing this robotics competition, right? Yes. Okay, so put your, put your gizmo through its paces here and explain to me what it's doing and what, what the challenge is. Okay. Yep. All right. Which one are you doing? Tell me what you're doing, explain it. All right. I, am, I, so, I need to. This is the pump addition, and you have to put it into the thing and then make it connect to the end of the pump. Okay, and it's pre-programmed to do what it's yes. supposed to do, right? and it also does the rain where it goes over and right. hits the rain. Let her go and let's see what happens, and you guys can talk over it while it's doing it. So. Okay, well, so right now they're going over to try to attempt the rain challenge. Okay. It didn't work. And each one has a different point. That's okay. Yeah, try it again. And you get, you get points along the way if you meet the challenge. And you have some tough competition. You have lots of other really smart teams who are trying to beat you in that competition. Yes. And these are 60 of the best teams out of 435 teams in the North Texas region. So they made it all the way to the championship, which is a big accomplishment. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And what do you take away from this in terms of, of teamwork? You learn a lot about programming and robotics and water and, uh, and the water cycle. What do you learn about working as a team? Well, we have our core values, and that teaches us a lot about working together and getting along. Okay, and what are the, what, explain to me the core values. That's something that's, that's, that's way above my head. I'm not sure we have them around here. Um, like having fun, uh, gracious professionalism, working together, like all getting along. Absolutely. And how's that working so far? Everybody's getting. You, you occasionally you'll have a disagreement, right? Yes. You got you got to work it out and work it out as friends and, and work it out graciously. Well, best of luck in the competition. We're going to tell folks that the uh, robotics tournament from the uh, folks at uh, um, Rockwell and uh, who, who are your Lockheed Martin, Lockheed Martin. Rockwell Collins. Outstanding, and the Perot, and it's Saturday at Parish Episcopal School, the Midway Campus in North Dallas. You can go and watch the competition free and meet some really smart kids as well. We have a link with more information on fox4news.com. Good luck. Thank you. You, you definitely will be making the fashion statement. <laughs> <laughs>